Hey there, Trina here again with another 10-minute template transformation. I've got to give a big shout out to e-learning hero Josh Stoner for being the inspiration behind this transformation. I'm using a medical themed template he shared with the community back in February for e-learning challenge number 69. I really liked how clean and crisp his template was, and it occurred to me that it could be easily transformed for an entirely different industry, an entirely different topic just by swapping out the stock images and the color palette. So before we get started, I have a confession to make. I'm cheating just a little bit this time. Josh couldn't make his story project file available to the community as a template. He could only share the published output. So technically, you can't transform his template. But here's the good news. He did share his project file with me, so I could show you what's under the hood of his design and give you my own version of his design to repurpose for your projects. So without further ado, let's go from medical themed to workplace safety themed in just under 10 minutes. The first thing I noticed about the inspiration project is the story size. It's widescreen, but at a custom setting. Adjusting the size of a project is easy, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it now. Just select story size from the design ribbon. Then you can choose from the default settings, 16 by nine, or 4x3, or you can add a custom size just by entering the dimensions in pixels here. I've linked to an article in the resources that goes into a little more detail about story size, so if you'd like to play around with this, you can check it out later. Another thing I noticed about Josh's project is the navigation. It's all custom, and it's very web-inspired, with access to navigation help and contact available on every screen. So how did he do this? Well, slide masters, of course. When you need to have globally accessible content, Slide Masters are your friend. They're a smart solution and a huge time saver. I'm on the Slide Master for my project, and you'll note that I have several different colored layouts. These correspond to my color palette, which I pulled directly from the inspiration image on my title slide using Storyline's built-in color picker tool. On the master layouts, you'll see I've got a base layer and two other layers corresponding to my how to use and contact buttons. I want to add a home button to my master layouts. So this button will always appear at the top of the screen for my learners and allow them to return to the main menu with the icons from anywhere in the course. I'm going to create this once here and then just copy and paste it into my other color themed layouts when I'm done. I'm just grabbing a rectangle shape and labeling it home. I'm going to remove the background fill and outline so it's transparent like my other buttons. Because we're going with custom navigation, I'll need to use a true false variable to tell Storyline when the navigation buttons are on or off. By default, I'll set them to false or off, and then I'll activate them, turn them on or true, when the learner clicks on them. And finally, I'll just add a jump to slide trigger to my home button. Since I'm going with an industrial sort of workplace safety theme, I needed some icons that reflected my subject matter. I found lots of great icons for purchase, but I really couldn't find anything for free that I liked. So I ended up making my own in PowerPoint just by grouping shapes. I made a few of these and they're included in the download of this template, so hopefully they'll save you some time later. In this design, the hover is a separate rounded rectangle and it's an object placed over the grouped icon and text. To recreate this, I'll just draw a rounded rectangle around my grouped objects. From the Edit States tab, I am selecting two states, hover and visited. For the normal state, I want my rounded rectangle to be invisible, so I'm just going to remove all the formatting from it. For the hover state, I'll make it the same color as my icon. And for the visited state, I'll add this text box with the word completed over it. Some more minor tweaks to position this properly, and then I'm ready to add the triggers. In my inspiration project, there was a really nice horizontal content layout with an image at the top and then the text underneath. I really liked this, so I decided to use this as my layout for all my content and just swap out the text, images, and colors. I also took some time to overlay a translucent pane on the splash screen so my text could stand out a little more from my background. But overall, using Josh's ideas saved me from having to come up with a navigation and layout concept and allowed me to really just focus on sourcing images and fonts to customize this project for my needs. I'll note in the article resources which fonts I've used, as well as the sources for the low-cost and free images used in this template transformation. 
Keep this in mind. Next time you're visiting eLearning Heroes and you see a new download or a new example, don't dismiss it if it's not the exact industry theme or even the subject matter theme template you're looking for. Try to look past those aesthetics and really just focus on the bones of the project to see how you can morph those ideas and mechanics to suit your needs. So that's a wrap. I'll see you next time for another 10-minute template transformation.